Why hello there, Anxious Cynic here, back in Minimator because I wanted to share a little tip that I discovered that might help you improve performance in Minimator. So as you can see here, I have my render settings all to very small because usually when you're animating, you don't need it to be super high. And when I go to the real-time rendering in the camera here, I'm recording, so I get around 15, 16 frames per second. But when I'm not recording, I was getting around 24 anywhere from 19 to 24 frames per second. Of course, this also will differ depending on how big this screen is. So if I get rid of this and I render this whole view, then you'll see that I'm going down to like 11, 9, stuff like that. So if I come up here, bring up the camera, then you'll see this improves a little bit and I'm back at 15 frames per second, 15, 16. So what I can do to improve on this is my computer has a designated graphics card. If yours doesn't, then this is probably not gonna be for you. But if you have a computer with a designated graphics card, then you wanna make sure that Minimator is actually using your graphics card. So we're gonna go ahead and close out of Minimator. So here we are back on my desktop and I have the Minimator uh, shortcut here that I added to it. And if I right click on this, and I go to run with graphics processor. You'll see here that I have high performance NVIDIA processor and then I have integrated graphics and that's the default setting. So what I discovered is that Minimator is using the integrated graphics by default. So if I go here, you can select this, but I've usually not had much success by just clicking on one of these or usually bring up this regardless. So go to change default graphics processor and what you might get is this window here. And as you can see here, this is the NVIDIA control panel. You may have an AMD card or something like that. So this may be different for you, but uh, this is what I have as NVIDIA. And here's my animator right here. You have select a program to customize. So I have my animator selected here and right here it's select the preferred graphics processor for this program. And you can see that it's integrated graphics. So if I go here and I click on high performance NVIDIA processor, and then I click apply, and then you'll see here we have high performance NVIDIA processor. So if I go down to Minimator, let's start that back up. So here we are back in Minimator, and as you can see, all of my settings are the same. And we're gonna go down here and click on render. And there we go, even though I'm recording, I'm now getting 23 to 24 frames per second in the real time rendering window. So this is the pretty much the same effect that I got when I wasn't recording, but it was starting out at 23 and 24. And then when I made this change, I was getting like 30 something. So it generally adds around 10 frames per second for me, for my particular card and my particular setup uh, when I'm not recording. But also with this, it's almost 10 frames per second improvement with that. So it's not like a huge performance boost, but you know, 10 frames per second is actually a, a pretty good thing when you're dealing with this and things are slowing down and you're trying to animate and look at what you're working with. So just that simple thing improved us by about 10 frames per second. And it's really easy to do if you have a computer with a dedicated graphics processor. So one thing you may notice though, when you go to do this is that Minimator doesn't show up in the list. So let's go back to that control panel. So if you go to do this and you don't see Minimator here, now mine says D because I have a separate hard drive that I store things on versus what Windows is on. But if you don't see this here, you can go right here to the add button and it'll come up with a list of programs. For me, Minecraft 3D animation software, which is Minimator, as you can see there, it says the location, which is Minimator 1.2.6. And then you have the Minimator.exe. And this is all I had to click on and then add selected program. If you don't have that, then uh, I don't know, you just have to browse for it maybe and go to wherever you have Minimator installed. I have the archive version, so if you have the install version, uh, it may be a little bit different for you, I don't know. But in any case, you'll find it in this list or you can browse to wherever the EXE is installed to and select it and then add selected program. And then you should have it in this list where you can get to this option and change it. So there you go guys, hopefully that was helpful to some of you, those who have a dedicated graphics card. And maybe this was something that was impeding your performance and kind of hindering your animation process and you can make this little simple change and improve on that. So there it is. Thanks for watching, hope it was helpful and uh, I'll see you in the next video.